Hey everyone, so I'm here to talk to you about the Vive Input Utility and show you just how easy it is to get started. So with that being said, um, well, let me show you what it can do real fast and then I'll show you how you can set some of those things up. So I'm going to go to the Vive Input Utility Examples folder and in the Examples folder they have like six different scenes. So I'm going to load up one of those scenes. And in this scene we have a couple of different things we can try out. So I'm going to hit play put on my headset and show you hopefully some of these things in action. So I have my controllers in front of me. There we go. I'm only using one lighthouse so the tracking is not that great but if you use two lighthouses you will get really good tracking and I want to just go ahead and grab that block. Check it out. I can grab it. I can throw it. Um, another one says, oh sorry about that. I just accidentally hit the microphone. Um, another one popped up. I'm going to be careful not to uh, hit the microphone. So, um, oh don't want to do that. Let's cancel. I'm like accidentally turning off my controller. I'm going to teleport over here, press a button, and then change the color of those blocks. You know, I want it to be uh, yellow, red, orange, green, blue. Blue is my favorite. I'm going to go blue. I could also do purple, but like I said, I like blue. Um, I want to teleport over here. Whoops. And then you can press the switch. Anti gravity. Gravity, anti-gravity, gravity. There's some cool stuff you can do um, very, very quickly with the Vive Input Utility. So I got these uh, blocks and they're really cool. And let's show you how to get that stuff to happen. Again, I do apologize for accidentally uh, knocking the microphone earlier. I know that's gonna sound terrible whenever I upload the video. So let's go to our brand new scene. I've called it Input Example, but you can just click File and then New Scene. And that's really what we're working from. So first things first, if you don't do this, you're gonna run into trouble and it's like, it doesn't make sense, but just take that main camera and delete it. You gotta get rid of the main camera because the Vive Input Utility already has a camera. Now let's click on the, I'm gonna move my, my face out of the way for a second. I'll kind of be in the hierarchy, I guess, or, or maybe up here, this part of the inspector is not too important. Um, so you click on the HTC Unity plugin uh, this is from the HTC Vive input utility. If you don't have it, go to the asset store. And then what you want to do is um, you want to, let's see, I've downloaded a couple of assets here. We're going to download, uh, this is always hard part, click search, and then go to Vive input utility. Now I do recommend downloading the Vive input utility second. Um, there is something that you need to get before that. So the first thing you should actually get is Steam VR. Uh, it's this first one. Download that, import it in your project, make sure you hit yes, do all their suggested stuff. And then after that, go ahead and get the Vive Input Utility. And um, the Input Utility is really cool because it, it'll get you working real fast. So it looks like that. Um, and then once you have those two in your project and you hit yes for all the recommended stuff, then the next thing you wanna do is go ahead, make a scene, delete your camera, and we're gonna go to the Vive Input Utility uh, project folder, and where it says Vive Input Utility, go into that folder, and then you'll find prefabs. Now in prefabs, what we want is we want the Vive rig or the Vive camera rig. So I'm gonna use a Vive rig. I think it's a little bit more complete. I'll just throw that into my hierarchy. Notice how um, if it is in my hierarchy, I'm gonna move myself again, sorry about that. My transform is 000. If yours is not and you want it to be there, um, just make sure that it matches up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a couple of very simple objects into my scene. A cube right in front of me and a 3D object. Let's call this a sphere. So I'll put this a little bit more off center. So they're right next to each other. I'll hit play and put my headset on and then hopefully I'm not right in front of the cube and sphere. So I can see them, they're a little bit down below me. It's always a good idea to view things as you're creating because you want to know um, where things are and what it looks like, that kind of thing. So I'll go ahead and raise it up just ever so slightly, raise it up ever so slightly, maybe bring it a little bit closer. And now that it's a little bit closer, um, what I want to do is I want to just like interact with them. So let's say I want to interact with the sphere but not the cube. I'm going to add a component called grabbable. Simple as that, I've added grabbable. I'm gonna press play, put on my headset, grab my controllers, and see what I can do with those two things. Now notice I did put grabbable on the sphere, but not on the cube. So if I reach into the cube and I press my trigger, nothing happens. 
If I reach for that sphere, oh, I don't think I can reach it. So my tracking's all weird because of how I have things laid out. So I'm gonna do this, I look real funny, and then bring the sphere close to me so I can reach it. Okay, so I can grab the sphere now and check that out. Simple as that. Grabbable. I can grab it. Notice how I cannot throw it, but I can grab it. That is so cool. Like, I didn't have to write a single bit of code, and I can grab that sphere. I can, you know, put it in different places. So let's say, hey, that sphere is not cool enough. Oh, I'm going to look all funny. You guys are like looking at my nose and stuff. I want to make that sphere throwable. So I'm going to add component, and then I'm going to type throwable. And would you look at that? There's a throwable script. I'm going to grab that sphere and try and throw it. But all of a sudden, it looks like it's not throwing. So uh, some of these scripts you might want to like kind of play around with which one should be active, which one should be inactive, do they have any certain properties to look at. <laughs> On this throwable uh, script it says release velocity, get from hand, um, scale release velocity. Okay, so it says get from hand. Um, also doing something with time. I wonder if that object is just falling due to gravity or something. Oh yeah, it fell. I added throwable and I think it got a rigid body. Um, so that's why I was having trouble throwing it. It was heavy. It had gravity. So let's try something else. Let's go ahead and add throwable. And notice how it adds other components. It adds like a rigid body, and then we get that throwable component. On the rigid body, I'm gonna turn off gravity and see if that has an effect on how things work. So I'll put my headset back on. You gotta do everything with testing. Um, I did forget to reposition the sphere, so I'll just bring it back up here, kind of move it around there. It's somewhere where I can reach it now. Grab it, throw it, and check that out. My object is now thrown. So sometimes um, you'll have to look at other components that get added, like the rigid body is a required component for a throwable, I believe, and so that's why it automatically added it. Um, if I wanted to be able to teleport, then that is also something I can do. So let me just go ahead and bring my sphere up here. Um, I'm gonna add a 3D object plane, and I believe I can just teleport onto the plane. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a component teleportable, I think that's all I have to do. It's been a while since I've done this though. So I'll hit play and then um, see if I can teleport to it just like that. I don't know if I have to put it on the plane or, yeah, I think I can put it on the plane. Yeah, would you see that? I'm just teleporting all over the place. Uh, let me grab my sphere, do some push-ups. No, I'm kidding. Um, I pushed it up, bad joke. So there's a lot of really cool stuff we can do with Vive Input Utility. I've only shown you grabbable, throwable, and teleportable, but even those three are enough to get you started. Um, thanks for watching this video. This is part of a series. There are more videos to come. And hopefully, again, that sound earlier, I apologize. Um, like and subscribe. You can subscribe like right over that way. I need everybody to subscribe so that I can get to 100 subscribers and then we can have a custom URL and make this channel a thing because that would be really cool. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Right over there. That's where the next video is going to be. Right there.